Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Battlestar Galactica. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode 12 of season three of Battlestar Galactica, a to be continued, was given to us in the last episode. And this one, um, I think, hmm, will we get anything resolved? I don't know. But I think we're going to see some cool stuff happen. Uh, stuff that might be related to the temple, something that might be related to uh, the Cylons. Um, I'm hoping that Hera gets reunited with her parents somehow. We might see a Stargo supernova. There's a lot that could go down in this episode, or it could just be nothing at all. And it could just be a bunch of ground fighting because we have centurions that are on the surface of the planet that we are just calling LG planet. No reason to get any more scientific than that. LG planet or the eye of Jupiter planet, whatever. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Starbucks been shot down. Um, I'm sure she's injured. Um, Anders wants to go find her. Lee says, absolutely not. You're in charge of the civilians. Um, I really think Anders could just walk out. I don't think anyone's actually going to shoot him. Um, if you do, you're stupid because he is a very valuable fighter. Lee actually even pointed that out. So for him to uh, then you know, take Anders' life, first of all, it would definitely appear personal. And uh, second of all, it would just be dumb, Strate strategy-wise, just absolutely dumb. Now, um, there are five or six ships, um, heavy raptors, he he hmm? heavy ships from the base stars that are headed on their way down to the surface, uh, one containing Gaius uh, and Deanna, who feel like their presence is needed inside of the temple. Now, maybe we need... Chief Indiana and Gaius, and I don't know who the other two people would be, but like maybe we need those three, maybe we need those five, maybe we need, you know, I don't, I don't know. Um, I also think something about the star going supernova is going to help shine some light inside of the temple. I don't think it's a good idea to be around when that happens. Um, there's a helium blast that like would happen that they'd have to run from. So, you know, um, I'm not. I, I could sit here and guess as to what I think is going to happen, but. Um, many things could happen, and typically I am at least 60% wrong. Sometimes I nail it, and I don't even mean to. I just say something kind of out of left field. I throw it out there, and sometimes it sticks, and that makes me feel good. But also I know that it's not like I, it's not like I could have come up with that idea. <laughs> just following the clues and making guesses. Now, again, I don't care about the Lee Starbuck thing, so... They never see each other again. I'm completely fine with it. Uh, Anders and D deserve better. Also, Caprica Six deserves better than what Gaius and Deanna are doing to her. But I do think that what Deanna and Gaius are doing by also talking to the hybrid, um, I think that they that like it's not a coincidence that the humans and the Cylons are both here at the same time. It's not a coincidence that the star is going supernova. You know, so like it's kind of like a meant to be situation a little bit. So uh, I hope it plays out. But with Admiral uh, Adamo pointing nukes at the surface of the planet and ready to take it out, um, I don't know if that's going to be the case or if he shoots down the ships or if he, I don't know if nukes will cause a star to go supernova. I would think so, but I don't know how that works. I don't pretend to know. Let's just shoot at it. See what happens. <laughs> Which is why you don't want me on any sort of space mission, because I'll just be like, I don't know, it's a ship. Let's knock on the door, see who's in there. Probably not a good idea. <laughs> but guys, I'm super excited to get into this episode. I want to know what what's what's drawing Chief to this place other than, you know, um, faith, gods, all that fun stuff. Yay. Um, and then I'm uh, just going to see how this is resolved, because nukes are pointed in that direction. And he can't do the base star because then Sharon and Hilo will not forgive him for killing Hera. And he can probably shoot the ships down, but because Deanna and Hilo or Deanna and Gaius are in one of them, not a great idea. He can't kill his son, who is on the surface of the planet. And then they destroy the Eye of Jupiter, which is their way to Earth. So really, I think the star it is. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he's still bluffing. Um, but he didn't seem like he was bluffing, so we shall find out. So guys, I'm excited to get into this. It better not end with another to be continued. 
High probability, but it better not. Okay, guys, <laughs> let's get into it. He's going to do it. Recall the raiders immediately. We agree. Bring them back. We agree. After all this time, we can't afford to lose everything. We agree. Bring them back. Smart. If Kara dies out there, I swear to God, I will kill you myself. I hear that. If she dies out there, I'll let you. Just go, Anders. Knock out Sergeant Matthias. Fire in my mark. Uh... Sir, the Raiders are turning back. Not all of them. Yeah. Correction, no, five have turned back. One is still on route back to the planet. You want launch against just one ship. That's not the issue. We made a decision. Rogue, Deanna. Safe home, missiles. Close out our doors. Damn it. Not that I want, like, the nukes to go or anything. It's just uh, I really don't want Deanna and Baltar getting to the surface. We can take a raptor. We can fly to the base ship ourselves. I don't... I don't care anymore. We can't. Why can't you? We'll find another way. There is no other way. Then what? What is he? What's the problem? She just doesn't want him to go. I'm begging you to do this. Do what? Find the courage to do this for both of us, okay? <gasps> to kill her so she's resurrected. Oh, that's the only thing that she could be possibly asking him to do. Uh, huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not that I'm like, that's a real couple, that's love, but like, you gotta be willing to do the hard shit. Oh, I love Hilo. Oh my god. I love Sharon. I was like, why can't they just go over there and get her? I get the only way that she could possibly get on that ship is by being resurrected. If they re-download her, I mean, hopefully that doesn't mess anything up. Maybe she'll see the five on her re-download. Sharon's okay, downloading into another body aboard a Cylon ship right now, isn't she? She begged me to do it. <sighs> the mess you've made, Roslyn. And she'll come back? It's quite a leap of faith you've made there, Captain. I believe in her. And if it involved your family only, I'd say it was brave. You've put the entire fleet in jeopardy. Are you aware of that? Yeah, I'd shut up, Roslyn, if I were you. Oof. If you hadn't lied and stolen our baby in the first place, we wouldn't be here at all. You know that, girl. The baby that saved your life. All we can do is hope that your wife is worthy of the unconditional trust you place in her, Captain. She is. I believe in her. And you as well, Admiral. She's Athena. You can trust her. It's just wild that they would even let her re-download. Oh, is that Caprica 6? The important thing is that you're here. Is it? How's my daughter? I want to see her. Six. And then what? Oh, what they Hug her. To me. You proved it. Hair is safer here. Bluff. And so am I. Bluff. You're not leaving Carl behind, and you know that. What do you think? It was a nice day for a walk. Oh. Sniper! 
Ooh. Hey, take it easy, Fisher. Sergeant. Oh. Oh. That sucks. Nothing better happen to D if Dean Anders die in this episode. Oh, this <laughs> be is crazy. Come on, yeah, come on, Chief, you got this. Major, I need more time. Get on it. Cylons are on the move. We'll hold them off as long as we can. Yeah, there's only so much time, Chief. All right, listen up. Pack your gear, get ready to move. Look up. I know it's up. <laughs> I get so frustrated at this show and people don't look up. Her destiny will part company from yours, Gaius. She's not the chosen one. You are. That's what I think, too. Yes, I know. How do they get... It's like, she's wearing, like, really nice clothes. He's wearing a suit. They are not ready for this hike. You really think these civvies can stop them? Well, they stopped plenty of them on Caprica while we were running for our lives. They survived on Caprica for a really long time. Where's D? Ah, I just don't want them to detonate and D run around the corner. Come on. Okay. Now, 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 now. That blast didn't take him out. <laughs> Good job, Anders. God damn it! Oh, it's so dusty and dirty. What a horrible place to get a, a wound. Oh, did he die? Uh, uh, okay, this man's <gasps> dead. We gotta pull him back. Sam, pull it together. Did he just say Sam pull it together? He just lost one of his friends. Give him a damn second. Okay, I like that they're looking up. That makes me happy. I thought her leg caught fire. Oh, her hands are burnt. Oh my. Is it gonna be D? It's D. Starbuck. Starbuck. Did you, why the hell didn't you sing out? I almost blew you away. Glad to see you too. How are you? Oh. Uh. Is that pain medication? <laughs> I probably would have too. Look at that. Hair knows her. Mom hugs her the best. Amazing. You and she are biologically identical. Oh, God, Boomer. <laughs> Check your face. Good, because you can have her. I'm done with her. <gasps> you don't mean that. I know you still care about Terrell. Adama. No. Humans and silence were not meant to be together. We should just go our separate ways. I, but yeah, I agree. Her belly's as hard as a rock. Have you noticed that before? Has she pooped? I need to take her back to Galactica. You know that can't happen. What this child means to us. What she means to her living Do you want her alive or do you want her dead? She's been planning this all along. Feel her. Yeah, do you think she just made her child's stomach hard as a rock? Maybe God never wanted us to have children in the first place. Maybe it would be better for you if I just if... snap your little neck! Oh my god! Boomer? Thank you, Six. Oof. That is the auntie. That is in me as well. <laughs> Let's go. We've got to get you back to Galactica. <sighs> I'm sorry Boomer had to die, but that that's the auntie energy you want protecting your child. That's how I feel about my nieces and nephews. I will not use lethal force. Maybe. It's hot! 
Well, that is brave just to be throwing those things around. Get your people to the rally point and blow the temple. I repeat, blow the temple. Yes, sir. Damn it. You can't. You can't, Chief. You can't. All right, that's it, everybody. Drop what you're doing and get out. I got it, Jason. Right, yeah, leave that one. Maybe he needs to be by himself. Maybe they're taking all the energy. If I only had a little more time. It's in the hands of the gods now. Okay, let's go. There's nothing we can do. You can't. Maybe, maybe. <sighs> so frustrating. The ship's structurally intact. Okay. Give her a high five. Shake her handy. I love Sam. I hate Sam. I love Lee. I hate Lee. God, I have to cheat just to keep the pieces all nice and neat. Oh. <laughs> <Stay with it. laughs> I love that moment. I love that moment. The Eye of Jupiter has to be somewhere in this temple. I'm telling you, that light that's shining through that window is important. Pull out the detonators. Quickly. They didn't see them go in there? Gaius! Yes? Help us! Now is your time. Shoot Cavill. <laughs> what have you done? What have you done? He didn't do anything. Oh. Oh, look. shit. What is that? Supernova. You didn't come here looking for Earth. You came here looking for something else. Shoot him, guys. No one's going to obliterate the entire planet in less than an hour. You guys got to hurry. It's not just sit around and stare at each other. The Nova is the Eye of Jupiter. What does it tell us? And to look upon the faces of the final five. That can't happen. Why? This is my destiny. Sorry, Diana. Oh, he's gonna shoot her. Nope. Thank you, guys. Is he gonna shoot her? Ooh, okay, I was right about the crystals, wrong spot. If you're not the one, are you... Okay, maybe she is the one? There's six things there. Final Earth. five. Is it really you? Ah! Why can't I see anyone's face? Because they don't want me to. You. What does that mean? Guys? Give me, I, I had no idea. What does it mean? No idea about what? What? That wasn't the way to Earth, that's for sure. Tell me, I have to know, did you see my face? I need to know, did you see his face? Who was it? <laughs> I just want to turn around and scream at the wall. It's it's not shining anymore, Gaius. God, tell me the truth before I die. <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. President. It did not show the way to Earth, though. Maybe it doesn't inside the temple. Maybe it does outside the temple. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. So Deanna got to see it. Well, it got to see something, but not the way. All rescue ships from the planet accounted for. Down. So that means D and Starbuck made it? Ooh. Wow. 
Wow. Just because you guys work together doesn't make you friends. He's not dead? No, unfortunately. Take him to oh, break. <laughs> I was like, oh, they are they're dead. It's fucking Gaius. Cold shoulder. Just give him the cold shoulder. He's not excited to see you. Girl, you deserve so much better. Quit making eyes at each other! Ugh. She came with her. Okay, okay, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. A lot of those people were traumatized by silence. Not good. Not good at all. Do you think the 13th tribe had a vision of what was to come? Maybe they saw another Nova and drew a picture of that. You've seen one Nova, you've seen them all. Well, there was another <laughs> really Nova. Really, Ty? It's 13,000 light years from our present position. It's a cloud of gas known as the Ionian Nebula. Oh, gotta go there now, huh? What are you thinking, Hilo? Did you just come by to frack with me? Actually, I wanted Maybe. to know if you had any uh, pictures of your old apartment on Caprica. What? Um, locker, top shelf, is cigar box. <laughs> It's not funny, Why? but it is funny. Curious about something. Did she have something like religious up or but there was Don't art. There was some crazy art. Yeah. What about him? Oh wow. How would she have known that? This was on the temple. Where'd uh -huh. you get the idea to paint yours? I don't know. Drunken stupor? It was just something I've been doodling since I was a kid. I liked the pattern. Is she a chosen one? Is she one of the five? <laughs> what is it? Just some of the open said once. What did he say? That I had a destiny. That it had already been written. Yeah, anytime Leah Ben says something, it's horrifying. Is she different now? At least you'll never have to go through this again. The decision wasn't easy, but... They're putting her on ice. That's why we've decided to box your entire line. Your consciousness, memory, every thought your model ever had. There are five other silence, brother. One day you're going to see them too. <laughs> That is wild. <sighs> I did not expect that episode to end that way. But at least it wasn't a to be continued. Just when I'm over Starbuck, things get interesting. <laughs> I really, I'm, I'm over like the Starbucks Lee shenanigans. Like that shit just needs to stop. And even when they're hugging their significant others, and I'm like, you guys both deserve better. They still make eyes at each other. <laughs> Although if I were D, I would rather enjoy like stabbing Starbucks with a needle, even though it was for pain relief. But you know, a little bit of oomph. <laughs> Never hurt anyone. <laughs> Um, yeah, I knew that there was something interesting with the drawings on uh, Starbucks wall at her 
her apartment, um, I did not think that it would be like, hey, the eye of Jupiter was there the whole time. Um, I thought it had something to do with like demons that were inside of her. But, you know, with Leah been saying it has something to do with her destiny. I don't know how he could possibly know that. Um, because if, if Deanna and all of her models are trying to lead them uh, to some faith or try to, I don't know, <laughs> enlighten them, then what the hell has Leah been doing? Because, yeah, that... Him talking about destinies? Come on. Come on. Um, but she saw somebody. Deanna saw somebody as she was standing on the eye during the supernova. Yeah, nothing I said really happened. Like, some of it did. Like I said, like, there's that 60% that I'm just like, yeah, look up. Yeah, it has to do with the crystals. Yeah, it has to do with the supernova. That's about it. Um, I didn't realize that it was meant to show her a vision. And she was very uh, apologetic to whoever it was that she saw. So it must be somebody that she's mistreated. Now, she did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Admiral Adama. Um, I think she would have told Gaius or she would have said Gaius's name or there would have been a look of like, it is you. Um, so I don't think that she, that's who she was talking to was Gaius. I'm trying to think of who else she could have... I mean, Rosalind was taken prisoner on New Caprica. Ty was taken prisoner on New Caprica. Um, I'm trying to think of somebody that she treated poorly and that she owed an apology to. Um, hmm. I mean, it's obviously somebody we've met. Okay, so I'm going to have to shelve that for a hot second. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of Gaius for uh, killing Cavill so she would have the opportunity but at the same time then him pulling her out and when she said I knew it or I knew it was you or something along those lines and I was like damn it Gaius <laughs> like <laughs> we're this close to seeing a face damn it Gaius but now we have Hera back on Galactica we have Sharon back in Galactica. Unfortunately, Six is with her, and I'm. I, she will not be mistreated Pegasus style, um, but I don't think that uh, Exo Ty is going to be kind or forgiving towards her. Um, I can imagine he'd probably be really mean to her, and um, I just I would hope that nobody would go resulting into beating her. I think Sharon coming back to Galactica. I knew it was kind of a bluff at the beginning when she's just like, oh, like I'm done with them hair. I needs to stay here, you know, and it just so happened to coincide with the fact that, I mean, to me, like uh, a hard abdomen, <laughs> I'm like, is she constipated? Does does she need to go poop? Um, but I do appreciate Caprica punching out Boomer because to me, that is the auntie you want watching your kids. That is how I feel about all my nieces and nephews. I will go to war. You want me to fight somebody outside of whatever? Like, I will get into a fight with a, another auntie that's defending her niece and nephew. No problem. That is me, 100%. Uh, I don't mama bear, but I will auntie the hell out of my nieces and nephews. Now, I don't know what they're going to do with Six. And not only that, but Gaius now is on the ship and... Uh, of course, Ty was not pleased. I don't know if it's, if they had him in the body bag to hide him from the rest of the people that were, um, on Galactica. So, like, there's not, like, a riot or, like, this mass thing of, like, people, like, trying to kill him. I feel so bad for Gaius. He really has nowhere. He has nothing. He's just, like, a poor little lost soul. Just floating along. Just trying his best. Well, <laughs> that happened. <laughs> I kind of, it's its hard to cut Gaia's slack because obviously he put himself in this position and and it's because he, you know, couldn't keep it in his pants and then he was like letting uh, a woman like, you know, help him with the defense stuff and, you know, it was the woman that he was sleeping with and, and I get it. She's stunning. She's beautiful. But, you know... <laughs> Just say no. I mean, they, I think they knew who they could manipulate. And it'd be really interesting if they knew who they could manipulate because the lead fifth Cylon might actually be Gaius. I don't know. 
conspiracy theories run amok. But the Eye of Jupiter being a, a road sign and just like turn left at Albuquerque. It's, you know, turn right at the, Ju the Eye of Jupiter. Um, so I guess we're going to the previous spot of the other Nova. <laughs> Ty, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? I believe they vary. <laughs> Um, that was fantastic. I love that kind of stuff. I love that type of spaceship so much. It doesn't always have to be with flight. It can also just be with stars and planets and just all that fun shit. It was so good. It was so good. Okay. Well, now the Deannas are boxed. I don't know if that means we're not going to see Lucy Lawless anymore unless there's flashbacks. Um, but I, I can't say that I love her character, um, but I see the necessity for her type of character, her character that's really wound up in faith and, and is searching for her creator and wants to know why they are programmed and who programmed them. And, you know, I, I think um, she had a lot more depth that way. And I just feel like Brother Cavill is very surface level. Like he's like, like just the main a-hole Cylon who's just like, nah, kill him. <laughs> like, What? Like, he wanted to kill Deanna. And, like, that's the funny thing is that, like, even if he shot her, she would have been resurrected. And um, Granted, they probably would have put her on ice and then she wouldn't have any of the memories that she does. I wonder if Gaius and Six will be, like, across from each other in the, uh, in the brig. <laughs> but Hera is with her mommy and daddy, and that brings me absolute joy. Starbuck is in recovery. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're, we're now, like, like I said headed to Albuquerque. Uh, but, uh, but we're, we're, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Gosh, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be continued today and I'm not mad at it either. Um, I, I mean, <laughs> I have time off from work, so like I, I could watch all the Battlestar Galactica I want, <sighs> but sometimes I do need a break. So I'll definitely watch more in the next couple days, but guys, if you want to watch the full interaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon as well as a four episodes early. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Uh, <laughs> I really want to say, did you guys think that I was getting close and then saw me just drift so, so fucking far away? Um, but yeah, I, I, when you were watching, did you think that it was a roadmap? Did you think that it was a sign? <laughs> a sign. Of course it's a sign. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I was definitely thinking Indiana Jones and like the beacon of light on a jewel that like shines on the floor that lifts a city from the ground kind of shit um but the, the crystals light they lit up it's just not where i thought they'd light up yeah i'd say close but it was just like eh. <laughs> close-ish i i got close-ish uh but yeah i feel like i was really done with starbuck after the past couple episodes even the one with cat where there was something kind of redeeming about her emotion i was just like my God, you suck. Like, you just, like, want to cheat on your husband and you want to destroy Lee's marriage. It's like, you're not happy unless you are, you know, raising just everything. Like, you just you just want to destroy everything because you're broken and miserable inside. And rather than work on yourself, you want to see other people in pain. And it's just not fair. And, I mean, if I'm D, I'm done with Lee. Like, I'm done with him. Yeah, he's good enough to not cheat. He should never even be putting himself in the position for that to even be a question. Just saying. I, as much as I'm mad at Starbuck, and it's because I, I, I hold her to a higher standard. And it's the standard that I hold myself to. I also hold D to my standard, which is not putting up with that shit either. Um, and, you know, Andrews just still loves Starbuck. And Starbuck saying that, like, I love Sam. I hate Sam. I love Lee. I hate Lee. It's like, yeah. Find balance, would you? Some way, somehow, find your fucking balance, because I'm over it. But now she's really freaking important. So, yeah. Just let's get away from the, the, the storyline. I don't I don't enjoy this mixed romance crap and this unrequited love and forbidden love and forbidden physical action because really that's all starbuck really seems to want from lee if she wanted lee's love then she would ask for a divorce um she just wants to i guess satisfy an itch and lee 
would genuinely like to be in love with Starbuck, which is questionable. Anyway, I feel like this is like just a dead horse that I keep beating, but I just, I'm hoping that like, there'll be an episode where it's like, all of a sudden they're like, you know what? Buy guns and everyone just gets along. <laughs> is it too much to ask? <laughs> oh God. Okay, guys, uh, I will see you back here for the next couple episodes. And in the meantime, I'll see ya.